Hello, Graham's my name. I'm the Deputy Chairman of the Nairball Bowls Club. And I'm Gail, the Ladies Vice President. And we're here to introduce our entry into Holden's Home Ground Advantage. It's all about toilets here. We have two wonderful greens at the Nairball Club, uh, very popular throughout the district for playing at bowls. The clubhouse you see behind us here was built 60 years ago, and unfortunately the toilets that were provided at that time remain the same today. We don't have enough toilets, uh, the toilets we have are inadequate and we certainly don't have any disabled toilets. So we'd like to take you on a tour of the club and show you why we need to have the toilets upgraded. How's it going, boys? Tell me, This is Here we are outside the men's toilets. In this building you see behind me here, we have one men's cubicle and a large urinal. And uh, you can see from the building that uh, there's leaks in it. Uh, there are major flaws in the structural part of the building. And uh, it's been here for 60 years as well. So the door you see up at the end there, that's where the, the flood, flash flooding comes through the door and comes straight inside the clubhouse. On the other side of the, uh, the men's toilet, there's a large step that uh, everybody has to climb up in order to get into the toilets. So we're looking at demolishing this building, uh, replacing it with brand new toilets as well as a disabled shower and toilet. Is this the right way to the toilet? Uh, where's the ramp? There's no ramp. Come on! Yeah, you can be in the 
Let's leave. Hurry up. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Here we are in the ladies' toilet area. Firstly, we've got this uh, ramp arrangement here that's extremely difficult for any walkers' uh, uh, wheelchairs to, uh, to come up the riser there uh, of the toilets. This is typical of the toilets. Uh, the building was built 60 years ago and basically not much has changed in this, uh, this area in that time. Uh, apart from the tiles on the floor, uh, we have um, a, a difficult situation here in this uh, very small toilet area in that we had to get new uh, seats on the toilets and the only way we can now open the door is from ensuring that the lid's up on the seat to be able to get the... and, and still it's very tight to, uh, to the point that that seat's been broken there now uh, to open the door. Uh, moving on to this other area here, the, uh, we removed one toilet in order to give us some sort of um, disabled access and this is basically the only one that's available within the club. There are no separate male uh, uh, disabled toilets. Uh, if you'd like to have a look in, um, in this area here, we've just got a, um, a typical really walker in here extremely limited space, very difficult to get in, turn around because we've got the, um, the top of the old pan face there, uh, the old tap in the back and one has to get out and still shut the door in order to, uh, to use the facilities. doesn't have use of her arms and these are the only disabled toilets that we have or access to um, some sort of facility and he is really embarrassed about having to walk her in here in mm -hmm. through the ladies to come in to the point that they don't come he uh -huh. comes by himself but she doesn't come any longer so we really do need a, um, a um, multi-sex separate toilet uh, yes. that's not attached to the ladies now if we can encompass a disabled toilet within the ladies that would be excellent but um, this isn't practical at all. You know, we've got no. the old um, pit here where the, uh, the system used, the old pan used to sit, but, um, but that's really only to give us some space.